Hi, I'm David Wallace, Chief Executive of Social Security Scotland, and I'm delighted that you're interested in joining our executive advisory body as a non-executive. We believe Social Security is a human right providing support to any one of us should we ever need it and to some of our most vulnerable members of society. People are at the heart of everything we do. As we create Scotland's new social security system, we want everyone to have a positive experience when using our service, whether it's their first time or whether they're a regular client. And we believe everyone claiming social security support should be treated with dignity, fairness and respect. That's why those are our values. We are an executive agency of the Scottish Government, which means we are part of the Scottish Government, but our management and our budgets are separate. I am personally responsible to Scottish Ministers for the operations and financial management of the agency. The work we do supports the National Performance Framework and contributes to the wider outcomes of human rights and tackling poverty in Scotland. We don't make the rules about who can get paid what benefits and how much they should get. That's for Scottish Ministers to decide as set out in law. And the Scottish Government also helped to get the benefits ready for us to deliver. We are responsible for making sure that people get the money they are entitled to, the right amount, to the right place at the right time. And we are looking for people who want to help us do that. We already have over 1,600 staff delivering benefit payments to over a million clients and we are growing fast as we build capacity for the future. The Scottish Government is introducing benefits in stages, but once fully operational, we will manage 17 benefits supporting 1.8 million children and adults. That's around one in three Scots, including people on low incomes, disabled people, carers and young people entering the workplace, as well as delivering benefits to help people heat their homes. And so that we reflect in the people that we, we serve, we are committed to bringing greater diversity to our organisation. I believe a more diverse workforce will help us do things differently, challenge our thinking and help us to do things better. So I'm really excited to be offering opportunities for two new non-executives to join our executive advisory body. Our executive advisory body is made up of me, my executive team, along with six non-executive members. Our non-executives come from a wide variety of backgrounds. They play a hugely important role by using their insight and experience to offer constructive challenge and advice, which helps us to implement our strategy and plans better and deliver more effective governments. Our new non-execs could come from any walk of life and I'd particularly welcome applications from groups underrepresented on Scotland's public bodies, including disabled people and people from black and minority ethnic backgrounds. Both new non-executives will also be asked to join our audit and assurance committee, which provides independent scrutiny on how we spend public money and how we deliver our services to clients. This is a really important opportunity to play a key role in shaping how social security is delivered in Scotland, setting the tone from the very top and helping us shape our organisation's future. So if you are passionate about creating an inclusive environment and making a real difference to the lives of people in Scotland, I look forward to receiving your application. Thank you.